In four of the last five special elections, Oklahomans have sent a Democrat to the state legislature to fill a seat that was held for years by a Republican. Polling data is also now showing a growing shift, especially in urban areas, toward attitudes that align more with the Democratic Party. While President Trump remains popular, other factors are playing a bigger role in decisions being made by Oklahoma voters. Voters in Norman's House District 46 overwhelmingly filled the empty seat with Democrat Jacob Rosecrans. Since 1995, that seat has been firmly held by Republicans. The elementary school teacher won 60% of the vote. Well, I was a little bit stunned myself when it came time to, to be, you know, to speak. And I was just like, um, wow, <laughs> what happened? In 2016, Rosecrans ran for the same job and lost to incumbent Representative Scott Martin, who defeated Rosecrans by the same margin the Democrat just won the job. By any account, a dramatic shift in voter attitudes. We have a lot of momentum right now. We know that, like always, we're, we're behind and it's a, it's a big hill to climb, but we've got a lot of fired up, um, not just Democrats, but independents as well, and even some Republicans who are looking around and saying, this is not the state that I want to live in. Anna Langthorne is chair and executive director of the Oklahoma Democratic Party. This is our opportunity to, to make a tiny bit of change and make the state a little bit better. And I think we'll see more of that in the remaining special elections this year. In 2016, a large group of teachers and pro-education candidates ran for public office for the first time. Most, including Rosecrans, were unsuccessful, but he didn't give up. Well, we keep saying a blue wave, okay? And, and some people are saying it's because of well, the Trump factor. And I think there's a lot to, t a lot to that, I really do. Um, but also I think there's, especially in this state, the people are rising up. There, there is a little bit of a wave coming along. The 2018 election is more than 18 months away and already nearly 50 candidates have filed notice of formation of a political action committee. That's an increase of more than 20% over the 2016 contest, and there is still seven months before they can even file to run for office. Rosecrans says in talking with people during his campaign, he saw voter attitudes changing. When I talked to uh, uh, most of my Republicans that I talked to, because uh, I didn't just knock one party, you know, um, the, the number one issue was education. But after that, do you know what it was? It, it was kick them out. Kick them out. Kick whatever's out there out. Republicans are also seeing changing voter attitudes. Trevor Worthen is a former state legislator and is a well-known Republican political consultant. If you combine the last 10 years and compare them to just the 2016 cycle between incumbents losing in primaries in the general election, I mean it, it was it was definitely a year where Oklahomans said you know we're, we're starting to get tired of the status quo uh, and carrying on into 2018 you know I, I think that mood has only grown stronger. However, Worthen does not see the change working against Republicans. He downplays the importance of Democrats winning special elections. We've been here before. We've seen this before. Uh, yes, Democrats may be picking up some ground in special elections, but let's see what happens when the general election gets here uh, and you have a much broader voter turnout. And pollster Bill Shepard has new polling data showing that may be correct. You when it comes to running the state of Oklahoma, Oklahomans are still on the side of Republicans. About 55% say that Republicans still should be uh, running the state. But when we ask them about funding K-12 through education, Democrats are beating Republicans about 44 to 40%. But Shepard also says the polling shows that what's important to voters is now lining up more with Democrats than Republicans. But we're beginning to see some movement towards other uh, of things like deciding on which taxation is appropriate, funding core services, uh, roads and bridges, health and human services, and we're seeing more and more people think that Democrats uh, can do that better. Troy Stevenson is executive director of Freedom Oklahoma and a Democratic political consultant. He sees the change also. I think it has a lot to do with education and the state of, of where the economy is in Oklahoma right now. I think they're awake. I think they're awake for the first time in a very long time. Stevenson says the dramatic increase in new people filing notice of PACs is further evidence that change is in the wind. I think people have finally realized that they, they have a voice, and the way to have a voice is to, is to either run for office or get engaged in a campaign or to make sure that you're actively taking part. Republican consultant Trevor Worthen agrees that urban centers are turning blue. 
but he says the Republican stronghold remains rural Oklahoma. In rural Oklahoma, it gets redder. I mean, even in areas where the, the voter registration is heavily Democratic, um, it, Republicans win those areas based on, you know, based on voters who care about guns and abortion and moral values. Representative-elect Jacob Rosecrans knows his chance for making major change in the 2018 legislature is limited since he is a member of the minority party. He does want to make clear he's open to listening and working with everyone. But on the issue of education, there is little room for compromise. I'm, I'm a public education warrior. That is exactly why I got elected. I, I, I mean, it was very clear, 60% of my district. And uh, I ran as elect teacher, which this teacher was elected. Representative-elect Rosecrans will be sworn into office in time to take part in the special legislative session planned for later this month. And there are three more special elections scheduled before the end of the year, all to fill seats left vacant by Republicans.